What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing tonight out here? It is your girl. It's Angela Spranza, the one and only love coach of Rochester and all over the world. I am here tonight because I miss you guys so much. Have been busy getting myself together. I am doing great. I am feeling great. I have so many messages, so many things to address. I hope I get it all out tonight and I am here for you. This is part one. We are going to do a part two of this. So we are about to begin. It is 618. Must be over the age of 18. Get mom or dad's consent just to clear my conscience because you know how I do it. We are going to talk about everything. We're going to get everything out. So let's get into it. I hope everybody's doing great. I am so... We're about to start this off. You know, I had to set my phone back because you know how I get. I get into it, I get excited, and let's fucking go. The message that I got, oh, it's all right here. I'm fucking pissed off for you. Okay, these fucking clowns. This goes for men, this goes for women. I am addressing everything. Um, if you are having trouble, always rewind, rewind my video and you will understand it. Someone wrote in to me and they were like, hi, Angela, I need your help. I haven't seen my ex in a month. He's not answering my phone calls. He's not answering my text messages. What should I do? I love getting messages like that. So a month has gone by and obviously he dumped you. He's not answering your texts and your phone calls. That means he's occupied. He's with somebody else and he sees your messages, he sees your calls, or he has you blocked. Um, if a month has gone by and he's not responding to any of your messages or calls, yes, he has you blocked. Um, if I were you, I wouldn't say anything else. Let me explain. How you handle that situation is no more reaching out. He knows you want to talk to him. He knows you miss him. He knows you want him back. He's out there finding what he's looking for. He's out there fucking and sucking everything in sight. He's not with you. He's not sleeping with you. He's not laying with you. He's not waking up with you because he's with somebody else. That's the way it is. Let me get on to my next question. Okay. This person said to me, they are sick and tired. Wait, let me look at my paper. They are sick and tired of being rejected by their ex. Their ex is only being around them on their time. And when they're together, they fight. And when I ask where you were or when am I going to see you? He gets mad. Why does he get mad at me all the time? This one is from another woman. Um, the reason why he gets mad at you is because he feels like you're interrogating him. He feels like he can't do nothing. He feels like that he has to hide what he's doing. If you want your relationship to work, you need to talk to him on a day where he's not going out, on a day where he's calm, on a day where you talk softly, and talk in a soft tone. Don't be all hype and screaming because that's gonna push him away. A man does not want you yelling in his face, screaming at him, telling him all his faults, telling him everything that he's doing wrong. I am Angela Speranza. I am the love coach of Rochester and I am here tonight. We are talking about it all and I'm gonna answer everybody's questions that they have been answering me for the last week and a half. So I hope I answered that one okay. And here's the thing. I love love and I will do everything I can to help you. All my viewers that know me know that. I respond to you, I call you back. If I don't call you back that day, I call you back. So you can never force love. Always remember, true love always wins in the end. If he loves you, he will come back to you. That works for a man or a woman. But the questions that I'm answering, these first two that I picked, have been from a woman and they're about a guy. Now, my third question now that I'm answering, I'm gonna mix it up for you guys. This is from a guy and he says, 
Good morning, Angela. My name is so-and-so. I don't give shout outs unless you, it's okay. So, I'm having a problem. I just got back with my ex-girlfriend and she has a pin on her phone. She never lets me look at it and it's always face down and every time I turn my back, she checks it and when I come into the room, she shuts it. I never get tired of answering these questions. These are so great because it works differently for everybody in everyone's situation. Um, she's hiding something. She's checking her messages because she has something else going on and she has something else to do. She's waiting for the moment where she can leave and go handle that. Every time you leave a room, she's checking her phone. She's seeing if someone's talking to her. And the reason why her phone is face down is because she has so many text messages coming in from so many different people that she's talking to. That's just the way it is. I'm telling you the way it is and I'm giving it to you straight. I am Angela Speranza and I am the love coach of Rochester and I am here tonight on this Monday night. It is fantastic everybody. I hope everyone is doing good. Let's get on to the next question. Hang on. Okay, I have it here. My piece of paper. All right, number four. This one also is from another guy. Um, I try to keep them boy, girl, boy, girl. I, I wanted to pick the juicy ones tonight. All of them were good, but I wanted to address these ones because these ones kept popping up and popping up in groups. So this one also is from a guy. He said, hey, I'm so-and-so. <laughs> I need your advice on something. Me and my ex-girlfriend just separated. She has my kids. I don't know what to do. Can you please help me? Now this is a sticky situation. Let me finish reading. The only way she lets me see my kids is if I agree to be with her, is if I agree to see her. Wow, did everyone just hear what I just said? Oh my God, I keep getting calls. It is hot tonight, Rochester and all over the world. I am Angela Spranz. I am the one and only love coach of Rochester. I'm sorry that I have to keep clicking and touching everything, but things are coming in. I feel so good. Let me get back on it. So she only lets me see my kids is when I spend time with her. I don't love her anymore. I don't want to be with her. But for the sake of my kids, what should I do? This is tough. And I am honored to answer this question for you. That's hard. What I would do if I were you, it depends on the kid's age. If the kids are old enough to dial your number, then you can have a relationship with your kids that way. If the kids can text, then you can have a relationship with your child that way. If your kids call you up on the phone and they say come pick me up that's a good thing respond to those messages you don't need to talk to her every time you want to talk to your kids stop blaming her I'm not taking sides I'm just trying to give you a solution and I would look into the court system and I would have a third party come in so that way you can have set days and set times and she doesn't have to keep using the kids against you. I am Angela Speranza. I am the love coach of Rochester. That was it tonight. We are doing a part two later. Stick around. It's going to be good. I hope everybody enjoyed.